I just really hope that it helps brighten up people's days. Um, the reason I do what I do is because I love to bring people joy. I love how people smile when they look at the artwork that I do. And it's even better that it's people from this community, kids from this community that have done it. It's just, it's awesome. They were a great, great bunch of creatives. Um, really helpful with each other and I hope the story behind the mural really makes an impact with the community. What inspired your mural? Um, I was trying to get the, um, the universe. I'm into like technology and stuff. So um, the speech bubbles were are for like um, the the nice words and the opposite of it, so like what people were feeling in COVID and stuff. And so like happy, sad, frustration. So what inspired me to draw this was the computer software ZBrush. Uh, ZBrush is used uh, for making game characters or movie characters, the, the, the 3D models of them. Uh, so as you can see, the, for the, uh, the bird here, there's triangles, but in the, they do, they do the version of triangles, so <laughs> these all around would be known as polygons, and then po uh, the polygons are the basic building blocks of your <laughs> model. <laughs> inspired your piece? Um, the surrealist pictures kind of running off the technology that we kind of need to be plugged in all the time and during Covid we're expected to still be very available um, but through the means of like Zoom calls and team meetings and stuff like that. heavily inspired by horror so like um, I would watch horror movies regularly and kind of paint really weird kind of horror stuff then um, I was kind of watching a show that's a cartoon it's called Steven Universe it's a pretty famous thing on Cartoon Network and then um, decided to do a kind of vengeful wrathy kind of mother nature thing with loads of arms and ethereal kind of business. What um, Dreamlike things, fantasy stuff has, I don't know, being in COVID was really hard so you kind of just pictured a better thing and my brain always goes to the fantastical things that aren't really real but just kind of feel good. So like Studio Ghibli stuff or Disney things like that, just really, I don't know, I love those kind of things. Like these were people that, that didn't know each other before COVID and I mean, I'm hoping there's friendships made, like I'd love to stay connected with, with them and um, even the Earth Centre and everything, like it's, that's a new connection for me and like it's, it's a strong connection that the, the, the connection people make through art and you know being creative. <laughs>